the stars, we've got somebody who's always hanging out with them, getting invited to movie premieres, and speaking of movie premieres. Good morning. Good morning. Tom Miro is here with a CelebrityMagnet.com. He's the founder and the editor. And you just went to one of my favorite movies of the year, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocols movie premiere. And I didn't even expect to like that movie. I was like, all right, I'll go to a stupid action movie. It'll be fun, you know, whatever. Absolutely. It I was mean, much better than I thought. It was, uh, it was very intense. I mean, he, uh, you know, it was, it was a lot of action, so much action. You know, I, I, I even put in our article, it leaves your brain in a knot. Right. At the end of the movie. You're kind of. Yeah. I, you know what I liked about it? I don't want to see a. I like action movies, but I don't want a 25 minute car chase. Been there, done that. No. I felt like it kept moving. Well, he, yeah, when he jumped through the window, I guess everyone knows that by now. But Tom, yeah, you can see that in all of it. The, and the, the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the mm -hmm. world. Uh, oh, he, is it? I didn't even know yeah, that. Yeah, he was up 27, 2,700 feet. And, you know, put that in, like, in, in relation to the Empire State Building is 1,200 feet. Mm -hmm. So he was up 2,700 wow. feet, more than twice the height and of the And he did his State own building. stunts? Or? Jumped through the window. Uh, actually, he said the, the scariest part was when he was swinging back toward the building. He didn't want to hit his head on the building, so that right. was that was the dangerous part, not not the jumping through the window part. <laughs> so tell us about the premiere. Uh, Tom Cruise was there, and he showed up, and he just greeted every single fan. I mean, he spent an hour and a half greeting fans before he went inside. Uh, it delayed the premiere about an hour and a half. Uh, he took. Uh, is there audio on that? Oh, oh no, not yet. Oh, but we oh. will get to this tomorrow. Yeah, he uh, and and you know, I just want to go on record. He is taller than people uh, people think. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's he's probably about five ten. He I'm doesn't look feet. so bad standing next to you. Yeah, I'm six feet tall, so he's yeah. about five ten. Uh, the nicest guy you could ever meet. Very intense. You know, his eyes are like fixated on you as he's talking. And, yeah. Um, a uh, nice girl, Andrea Sumter from Paramount, gave me the uh, the invite. So that, that is nice so one. cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. interviewing Tom Cruise, yeah. highlight of your your uh, celebrity magnet career. I would say it's definitely one of up them? there. Yeah, he uh, he was very very cool and very nice to everyone there, and everyone got one question. What's that? That was it. You had to ask one oh, question. Everyone got one question. You were allowed okay. to ask one question. So your question was. Uh, what, what makes this movie different than the first three? And it has to do with the director. The director. Take Brad, a listen. We've got, we've got a sound bite for you. So what makes this movie different than the others? Well, each one has been very different. I think. You know, I've got a different director. But in this one, if you look at uh, Iron Time, incredible strategy. And that's why I wanted Brad to probably decide to have such great admiration for the storytelling of his characters. I wanted to film that out of the way. Just big composition. And uh, he also spoke to you about how he stays in shape, right? Yeah, I kind of looked bored in that clip. Did you? I thought you were looking yeah, fine. I was, try I was trying to figure out how he stayed looking so young. You were just like, wow. Wow, he looks Tom really young. Cruise. He's going to be 50. Well, he told me he, he stays looking young. He works really hard. That's it. Yeah. That was his answer when I asked him how he stays looking so young. Oh, my so gosh, young. incredible. And uh, what's the female star's name? Because she was gorgeous. Paul I've never Patton, seen her. Beautiful. She had on a beautiful dress, and she had a guy following her around, making making sure the dress was in order, and she had her own dress guy with her. Right. Uh, At first, I thought, you know, you're too pretty to be an agent, but then then I started enjoying her performance as the movie went on. Yeah, she's uh, she plays uh, opposite, or she's in, in the movie with um, the guy from um, uh, Slumdog Millionaire. Oh, okay. An Anil Kapoor. He I was there. Quite remember his name. He was there, and I, I ignored him. I guess in, in in India he would be Tom Cruise. Huge. Yeah. Huge. But here I kind of went past him and didn't pay much attention. Was that Stephen bad. Baldwin between you? Stephen Baldwin. Yeah. He's uh, he's now my buddy. We see each other all the time every week. You even shared some popcorn with him. We did. Yeah. We we chatted about the movie and shared popcorn. And he's a huge Tom Cruise fan. And somebody had actually said to him or was saying that, that it's too late for Tom Cruise to be jumping off of buildings. Someone asked him if Tom Cruise would be able to do this as he continues to get older. And he said, Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise. He could do whatever he wants. He can jump out of buildings because that's what makes him Tom Cruise. I totally agree. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you see this movie, he's right on top of just where he used to be. Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and you also met some other people on the red carpet. I know Josh Holloway, if you're a Lost fan, he plays Sawyer. Josh Holloway. Gorgeous. Yeah. All the ladies, I'm sure, know who this is. Yeah, I, I, 
Yeah, if you want to feel ugly, take a picture of Josh Holloway. That's <laughs> no. That was it right there. And uh, uh, Rachel Smith from Fox in uh, Las Vegas was there with me too. And it was another girl on the carpet. It was her first red carpet. Okay. And she looked terrified. She okay. was there. And I would be. Tom Cruise was making her way over to him. She looked like she was going to pass out. Her first well, red carpet ever. At least she got an interview with Tom Cruise. One question. I yeah. love it. Yeah. And uh, Steve Mack from SD Mack Pictures was my uh, photographer. He did an amazing Great. job. Thank God he was there. I wouldn't have any of it on, on film. Perfect. And I'm sure yeah. you can find more of, uh, about the premiere on CelebrityMagnet.com, right? Yes. All right, Tom Miro, thanks so much.